The determining factor in this is brake control. Brake control is a technique, not a talent, therefore it can be learned. Your goal is to bring the bike up as quickly as possible without gaining speed and to stop it from coming too far back by lightly pressing on the brake to bring it to what is called balance point. After this, it's simply an exchange of giving it a little gas to bring it back up and then a little bit of brake to bring it from coming too far back. Your goal being to make those adjustments as light as possible so that you're capable of staying at balance point without making huge swings down and then huge swings back up. To make it easier to follow, I'm taking my foot completely off of the foot brake when I'm not using it. When you're not using your foot brake, you're going to want to keep it over the foot brake pedal so that you can use it very quickly. This is what people mean when they say, cover the brake. When your bike reaches balance point, your natural instinct is going to be to throw your feet to your side and down to prevent yourself from crashing. But this will be what causes you to crash. When watching new riders loop out, this is usually the reason why. It may seem strange, but brake control is the vast majority of what's taking place in a good wheelie. If you're capable of controlling the brake, you can put your body in any position you want because no matter what, you're always able to save it with your brake. This is an example of a rider who had brake control but unfortunately he missed the brake when he went to switch from handbrake to footbrake. The most important thing is learning to keep your foot or your hand on the respective brakes and to use them. You want to give it gas, dump the clutch, and start braking when it gets to this point, but not before. Then you're just going to be doing an exchange of a little bit of gas and a little bit of brake. Ideally, you won't be on the brake and the gas at the same time, it'll be one or the other. If the bike comes down or forward, you're going to give it a little bit of gas to bring it back up past balance point, and then you'll use the brake to lightly guide it back to balance point. Once you reach balance point, you're going to notice that the bike wants to turn to one side or the other. This is normal. Turning in a wheelie is unlocked at balance point. A common method for compensating for this is to reduce your tire pressure. This will allow the bike to ride straight more easily. Eventually, it may benefit you to raise your tire pressure back up, but this is a personal preference. The easiest way of diagnosing the reason for your fall, if you were to fall in a wheelie attempt, is as follows. If the bike comes back too far, you likely did not press the brake hard enough or soon enough. If the bike mousetraps and lands too hard on its front wheel, you press the brake too hard. This is, of course, an oversimplification. There is a lot of nuance to what can go wrong in a wheelie. But this video is specifically about brake control. The way that I teach brake control initially is by having new riders pop the front wheel up and immediately smash it back down with the brake. Even if it only came up one inch, that's a success. Your goal is to bring it up a little bit higher each time and every time bringing it down with the brake. By the time you hit balance point, it should hopefully be a natural motion for you to press on the brake when you get up. But that is brake control in a nutshell. All that's left to do now is to go out and try it over and over and over. Because seat time is the only thing that's going to teach you brake control. I could make videos all day every day, and unless you go out and ride, you're never going to learn it. Ball.
Swaru is a hoolum, and that's the part we like. So don't forget to subscribe.